Hey guys, it's Claudia Suski and welcome back to Myth Matchmaker, the show where we set up two people and put dating myths to the test. Today we're going to be testing out if opposites really do attract. Now since it's such a vague category, we're going to be focusing in on sporty versus not so sporty. So today I'm going to be setting up my friend Ash and Jillian on a date. Ash plays basketball, he loves sports, watching them, playing them. Jillian, not so much, doesn't really play or watch. Today's date will be taking place at a pottery class. So we're gonna see if opposites do really attract and if they can find any common ground. Let's go inside. Hey, Ash. Hi, how you, how doing? you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too. Okay, so do you find that you normally go after sporty girls or girls who have their own interests? Normally I'm into girls that you know are into sports. Would you say you're competitive? Very competitive. Very competitive. So we're gonna see that side of you today? Definitely. <laughs> today I want to set you up with Jillian, who isn't really into sports, doesn't watch sports, just to see if, you know, possibly you could be open to the idea of, you know, an opposite gal, a gal who has other interests, which we'll find out about. And I thought it'd be fun if we took a pottery class because it's a little random, and so it'd be a nice little even playing fields. No pun intended. All right, we're gonna see. All right, let's go meet Jillian. All right. Hey, Jillian. Hey. How are you? Good. I want you to meet Ash. So, as you guys have heard, you are both opposites. Have you ever dated anyone or gone on a date with um, any athletes or people that are really in sports? I have dated an athlete before, and um, he ended up quitting the team he was on, I have that power. You have that impact on it. I do. Yeah. Okay. So let's say a guy bought football tickets for a date. Would you go to the date? I would know probably that we aren't a good match, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So today's going to be really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> let's make some pots. Thank you guys for coming here today. So we're gonna make a bowl, cup, mug. We're gonna be forgiving of ourselves. We're just gonna let the clay kind of tell us what it wants to be since it's your first time. So get yourself a nice little baseball, softball going on. So once you have a decent sized ball in your hand, okay. you're gonna go ahead and take it, slam it down right in the middle. Oh. There, oh, that's I, not I, the I middle. Is the center. <laughs> you're that, <laughs> yeah. Great Ash start, Ash. Just okay, so, we have a brick on one side and a pedal on another. The reason for that is you want balance. Anytime you feel friction, just take your fingertips and wet it. It's, you know, it's oh. a <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and smack that down. Make sure it's on there before you. <laughs> Great, okay, it's on there now. Your hands are strong and stable, and I'm just squeezing the clay. So I made a kind of a little bit of a cone, right? Oh. All right, so Ash, I'd say you're good. Time out while everyone catches up to that. I'm sure you're not used to such a sporty position. Huh? <laughs> this is too, um, this takes a lot of like athletic skill. So we all got kind of a cone thing going on. We're gonna do a butterfly to bring it down. A little bit like this. And now you see as I've gone down, I have a wall here and a curve here and it's not going all over the place as much as it was before, right? Your turn. <laughs> uh, so for you, this is gonna go here, like that. Keep this connected here. Oh, that? I think I got it. You're getting it. No, yeah, that's so it. Most... We're gonna take our hands, and we're gonna take our two thumbs, and we're gonna stick them together. We're just gonna find that middle part here, and if you look, I'm gonna push straight down. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> my hole's looking pretty nice. All right, how deep is your hole? <laughs> it's like not even <laughs> you know what? Y'all gonna have to censor some stuff in this. <laughs> so you're gonna use your finger as a stopper to tell you how thick your bottom is. Wait. On a scale of one to 10, how are you feeling about this? This is like an eight, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Have you ever did this before? I did this in uh, high school and I almost failed. See, like how did that turn into a bowl? Yours is a bowl. Yours is a oh, bowl. Oh, that's a bowl. I've ever seen a bowl. No, okay, well, now that I know that's that's what we're aiming that's for here, bowl. let me get real. We're going to let the clay tell us what it wants to be. Oh, wow. Yours okay, well, does not want to be a bowl. <laughs> I wonder what my... Oh, my God, oh, the collapse. Guys, no, I can fix this. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's what I say in every relationship. Oh, my God. I can fix, I can fix this. No. Can I put it back I'm liking mine, though. Can I put it back Are you not feeling me? This, this I like, like it. No, I love it. This looks like a... Uh, Ice cream bowl. Something like that. <laughs> You're good. That's a nice bowl. 
Well, anything's better than what the hell I'm creating at this point. <laughs> That's not true. I could see a nice ashtray. Oh my Maybe god. Maybe a wonky <laughs> mug. A ashtray. Like everything just collapsed, like most relationships, and then I was able to rebuild it with my skills. So after this, we gotta glaze them, right? Yep. Um, and I think you guys can go off and glaze your bowls, get to know each other a little bit more. I think I'm actually gonna finish some of this lopsidedness that's going on. I'll help you out with that. Thank you. <laughs> so, this is how we bring it to life. Um, what color are you going for? Green or something. Is that the sports team color you were? Yeah, I on? might go Celtics green on them. Is that the team you were on? No, it's the team that uh, I like, the Celtics. You ever heard of them? Uh, no. What do you do on your free time? I like to play music. Do you like That's electronic cool. music? I actually don't. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite music genre then? I like pop music a lot. Who's your favorite pop artist? Michael Jackson. Okay, yeah. We found something we like, guys. We have it in common. What do you think you're gonna use that for now? A, um, a guitar pick bowl, that's what I'll do. <laughs> a guitar pick bowl? Yeah, because I always lose those. Hey guys, yeah. I'm here to interrupt the dates, and um, Jillian, I'm actually going to kick you out real quick. Okay. Here we go, Ash. <laughs> Give me the 411. I mean, she's chill, she's relaxed. It's it was a I think it was a chill date. Interest wise, personality wise, would you say that you guys are pretty much polar opposites? Yeah, we're pretty much completely different. I agree with that. But statement. you know what they always say, opposites attract. <laughs> True, you never know. I guess let's figure out if opposites really do attract and see if uh, you wanna go on a second date. The date has come to an end. We've made some pots, some beautiful clay work. So do you think you'll be going on a second date? Um we had a lot of differences, like, but I think that we can work it out and get another date and see how, see how it might end up. Oh my god, thank you. That sounds so fun. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Today we were able to prove that opposites can attract. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Myth Matchmaker, then be sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV, and we'll see you guys for a new episode very soon. Bye. Bye.